Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So in our today's tutorial, I will show you how to create and create to page viewer in Android Kotlin. So as you can see, this is our demo application which we are going to create in our today's tutorial. As you can see, here we are having a profile image and this is our uh, page viewer. Uh, through dragging this page viewer, you can drag to next uh, page and then again next. In this way, you can drag uh, next to next page and even by clicking on this profile image, you can also drag to next page. For example, in this way, in this way, and then again in this way. So this type of create to page viewer we are going to uh, create in our today's tutorial. Of course, uh, maybe it seems a uh, little bit slow while I am dragging this page viewer uh, because I am using emulator. But uh, in real time device, it will work more faster and more smooth than it seems to be in video. So without wasting much time, let's start our tutorial. So head back to Android Studio. Here, as you can see, I had created a project which I had given its name as a view pager to change your project structure to project and then extend your file uh, directories. And if you go under main section under the Java and your package name, here you can find these files. Uh, this is my build up project which I had built uh, today. Uh, but if you had created new project, you will find only a single file here. This is main Kotlin file and the layout folder you will find the main uh, xml file so i'll explain you how i had created this project and uh, how you can gain this type of output for your android application right so let's start with ui design before that we in order to create this type of animated page we were we need to add some external library to our project right so we we'll just go to chrome and just uh, search for this create to web pager i'll give you a link of this library in description and you will be diverted to this uh, web page right uh, that is the link of github and this type of view pager we can create in a by using this library here is a demo video and if you go down in order to create this type of uh, view pager we need to uh, import this lab dependency into our android project right so just copy this dependency and go to our android project and under build.gradle file under dependency section here you can paste it here right so i had already did that just paste it here and then we need one more library in order to create uh, this uh, circle image, right? So for that we will use the library known as circle, uh, circle image view, right? So just copy and paste this library also and then sync your project. After successfully syncing your project, now your project is ready to create a creative page viewer, right? So let's go, let's design our UI, right, for our application. So just go to main.xml file and here you need to add the tag which is known as creative view pager. After adding your tag, the output will directly show this type of UI design in your preview window, right? So this is our library which we are going to use and then according to your need, you can give it width and height and the horizontal or vertical padding you want and item margin and all these attributes you can use with this library. Uh, and then now this is our main.xml file. Now we need to create one more XML file uh, to contain the, uh, we need to create two more XML files, right? Uh, now why we need two more XML files? Uh, so uh, here we are having two components in our this main XML file, right? First, uh, actually it is only one uh, component that is created with pager, but in uh, this uh, attribute it contains the two uh, layouts, right? First one is this circle uh, image view layout, and then second one is this uh, back uh, view pager layout, right? So we need to create two custom layouts. First one is for this uh, profile image, or you can call it page viewer image and then this background uh, the whole page uh, we were right we need to create two custom layouts so for that uh, i had created here i'll show you how i had created here so this is my custom layout of background page we were right so my i had uh, gone to design tab and then here i had searched for car view and then i had downloaded it from here if you have not did it please do that uh, to give the uh, card uh, like structure to your this background image uh, as you can see it's film square and uh, the shade is, has been appeared here so this is known as card view so i had changed the root layout to after downloading that card view i had changed the root layout to card view and then i had used some parameters here which you you can change according to your wish and then i had created the constraint layout as a sub layout and then given width as match paint and match paint so this is our constraint layout right under the card view and then uh, i had created an image view which is this one image right and of course i had some uh, i had uh, added some images to my this drawable folder right here as you can see the set of images i had added here 
Uh, I'll show you how where we are using that and then here I have given the source and all the things uh, source of nature 001 This is by default the image which will appear in this my uh, background image And then I have created a scroll view now. I need a scroll view I need a scroll view to scroll the text view right this text view I am as you can see the scrollable Right, so I need a scrollable text view. So that's the reason I had added a scroll view and then I had created a linear layout and then I had added my text uh, view uh, right the two text I had added here and then at the end I had uh, added guidelines right uh, you can add it or uh, maybe not uh, it doesn't matter I had added just for an uh, this uh, just for that's no reason why I added it. just uh, you can you, if you need you can add this uh, now our layout is ready right custom layout is ready now we need to create layout for our uh, this circle image right so for that I have created one more XML file uh, which I had given its name as item create to header profile and then here I had uses that uh, second one library which we had added to our uh, dependencies that is circle image view and then I had created here circle image view and then I had given it source so by default right uh, now you must be thinking uh, how did I get in this string right uh, because in text view I had not typed here anything uh, so just I had in under the values folder here as you can see here I am having strings.xml file right so if you go under strings.xml file, just a minute, just press control and click on here. Okay. Now under values.xml file, here you can see this is ID. I had created here the string which I had given ID as Laurel IPSM, and here I had passed the sentence, the whole sentence which I want to display in my this page viewer, right? So I will pass only ID to my XML file uh, which is uh, here and it will uh, by default take the whole sentence right here I had did that. So in this way I had added this whole uh, uh, paragraph right. So I think uh, now this XML file is ready now and I had also explained you about this uh, second one XML file which I had created here this profile image right. So I think our UI is ready now right. So let's go to our main Kotlin files. So before that, I'll show you how what I had made changes in values folder. Uh, I had added some. Uh, this is our by default application color. And if I had created a one more XML file, which is known as material colors. So here I had added some. Uh, some are actually the last set of colors. Uh, I'll also link provide this link for this project, so you can take the set of colors from here with their uh, hex values, right? So. Uh, Actually, I need to use all these colors into my application, so I had added them all. And by using this ID, I can access those colors right into my uh, user layout or XML files, right? So let's come back to our main file, Kotlin file. So, <coughs> in order to <coughs> create this type of layout, uh, so uh, in order to create this type of layout, we uh, we need to, we need an adapter, right? With uh, the page viewer adapter. Uh, which will uh, create this type of layout and which will contains the string of all these images and all these uh, background sentences and all this background uh, right this uh, whatever we can you can see in this UI so we need the array or you can call it list of that all the, the uh, images right and the sentences which we need to display here so for that I had created here the class right this uh, which uh, nm class uh, you can also use data class if you are uh, comfortable with that I had used your nm class and then I had given his name as nature item and under this uh, here we I am passing in the constructor two parameters first uh, both are integer type and actually first parameter is my uh, profile image which uh, I, I need here as you can see each profile image is different so all these images I had added here in first parameter and then I, if I talk about second parameter uh, in the second parameter I had added this this images which I'm going to display on my page viewer right each, uh, each slide has different uh, page viewer image right so I had added them all here Right, uh, so uh, I think our set of all the images has been ready inside this class. Right, uh, I had copied all the images into my variable folder, and then I had given the path to them here. And uh, now the, all these images are ready to use inside our application. Right, because we had created a separate class for that. Right, so now uh, uh, here I am having one, two more classes. Right, so first one is the main class. So I let me what I had did here. So uh, under main class. Uh, if you go under main.xml, here we had created our create to web pages, right? So I had given the ID as create to web pages. So we will use this create to web pages uh, in a side our main activity, right? So in, in order, I had already said you, in order to create this type of uh, page viewer, we need an end page viewer adapter, right? 
So just use ID of that page viewer which uh, you had given there in XML file dot and then we need to set the adapter to that page viewer, right? So nature creative pager adapter. This uh, file I had created here, uh, that's Kotlin file, uh, right? This one is that file. Uh, and this is my actually adapter here in this file we had, I had created adapter so I had assigned this adapter to my uh, creative page viewer right so now this only this uh, single line of code we had done in our main Kotlin file so let's go to our this uh, nature creative page viewer and see how we had created that adapter right so just press control and click on this uh, link and as you can see we had diverted to our this file right so I'll show you how to create this adapter for our page viewer site. Right. So just create a normal class and then pass the value that is context of our application and then which extends the creative page adapter. Right. So how did you got that this page adapter, right? Creative page adapter. Of course we can create a normal adapter, but uh, it, it is not a normal adapter. So when we added this dependency view pager, creative view pager, at that time uh, all the functionalities of that dependency we had added to our Android project, right? So we are extending that functionality. It also known as the adapter functionality. So extend this uh, create two page adapter, and then uh, we can override some methods here, right? So first method we can override is instantiate header item, and second method, uh, second function we can override is instantiate content item, right? And then there are three more uh, functions which we can override. Uh, get count is updating background color, and last one is request bitmap position. So these five methods we can override by using this adapter. Now let's uh, learn one by one which function what uh, performing, right? So first let's take it get count uh, function. So what does this function does? Actually it returns the size of our array, right? Uh, so we had created our array here, right? Uh, in NM class that is nature item, it contains the array of all the images, right? So it returns the nature item which is name of our class dot values dot size. So it will return the size of our array, right? So we have clear, cleared with this function, right? Get count. Now let's uh, jump to our uh, another um, function and let's see what other functions perform. So here we are having the function called name and uh, called as instantiate header items, right? So it contains the uh, three parameters, actually, uh, yeah, of course, three parameters. Which one is the first one is layout inflator. Now you must be know what is layout inflator. Layout inflator is used to link and certain layout with our uh, ex, uh, different Kotlin file, right? So we can link uh, the layout uh, with the an another file by using layout inflator, right? Uh, so this uh, task performed by layout inflator and second one is view group, which is container, which will contain the views uh, of that layout. And then third one is the position uh, uh, from that view, which position of view we need to access, right? So we had created here a variable which is header root and then uh, we had created the variable of layout inflator which is here inflator and dot inflate this is syntax which we use with layout inflator and then in round brackets we need to pass the parameters first one we need to pass the name of the layout which we need to link so uh, that is uh, under resource directory under layout uh, and this is my name of my that custom layout that I have created if I press control and click on this uh, link it will be directed to my uh, custom layout right so this layout, address of this layout, and then comma container, the, where is my view group uh, variable, which I had got from here. And then last one is, uh, if you want to attach this layout to our root layout, so my answer is false, so I pass here false. Now I have created the variable, which is called title, and which is type of text view. Now uh, we need to uh, assign the variable to, uh, right, uh, whatever parameters we are having in this file, right, we need to make changes into this file, right because uh, in each page where we are having different images and different text of course uh, of course uh, different text so we need to uh, add different images to different text so we need to create the variable for this image view as well as this text view so under this Kotlin adapter uh, I had created two variables the title and image and I had passed the IDs of both uh, IDs of both the title and images from this XML file right right as you can see, I'll show you uh, the ID of this image view is item creative nature image and I had passed that ID here. Nice. And this image and this is title. Now, uh, title has been set text to equals to nature and then position. Right. So how I did that. So title that is variable of text view dot set text equals to context which is context of our this uh, file dot get string method we had used 
and then uh, as I mentioned below I had uh, under strings uh, dot XML I had mentioned sorry for that uh, a one sub for me. Under this uh, section nature and person D, this is the idea of my this uh, string, and I had passed this string here, uh, other string or item nature title, which will pa also pass the position of my that string, right? So that's the reason uh, it is showing here nature 14, and then again na next nature 15. So in this way, it takes the position, and then I had uh, used the variable image, image dot set image variable. We need to set the image from the variable folder, so image dot image variable. And then context compact dot get drawable, and then here we have passed the three parameters uh, uh, actually, two parameters. First one is the context, which we need actually, and then nature image, which is the name of our this array Kotlin file which we have created nm class, right? Nature image dot values, uh, which will take values from that uh, file. And then uh, we need to pass array, right? We need to pass, we need to take one by one, so we are taking position dot nature drawable right so it will take one by one image and it will say to each of the page viewer right each of the page viewer one by one it will take the image from that array right and then we have written this uh, header root that is layout and creator right and then uh, let's uh, for, uh, go to next function uh, which is instantiate uh, content item and which uh, also takes the layout and creator view group and position the same parameters that we had mentioned about right so here we have created the variable known as uh, content root Right. So uh, before doing that, I'll explain you. This function was for our background. Uh, this this page, page view, right? Background in which we had added this text view and this background image. Now this another method is for this part, this image uh, profile image, right? For this we had created this uh, another method, overridden this another method, right? So we need to pass the layout custom link of the custom layout. Sorry for that. Link of the custom layout which we have created for this part of code, right? We, we created that, right? So we'll use layout inflator and I have given this new variable name as content root, live inflator dot inflate, and I had passed that custom uh, profile uh, view this we had created above, and then we will pass the same parameters as this container, this view group, and then false. And then I had created the variable of that image view and passed the idea of that image view from XML file. And then I had uh, took the images for this image view from the drivers folder and the same syntax we had used here and the value starts position we are taking one by way, uh, one that user image from that file right now uh, this is overridden method which is by default is, which is returning true uh, background color we are changing one by one so we are true and then we are having here one more function is request bitmap at position right it will return the position of that bitmap image so decode resources, content resources, natural values, of course we are accessing the position and it will return the position one by one of that uh, image. So that's uh, the end of our this tutorial and in this way you can create uh, this awesome page viewer in Android Kotlin. Right. Uh, I had explained you one by one and each of this step of this application but still if you are having any problems or doubts. Uh, Feel free to contact us. You can mail us on our uh, mail ID. I'll give link in description uh, as well as you can uh, ask us question or any uh, problem at uh, in our comment box, right? So in this way, uh, we can uh, right create the page viewer in Android Kotlin. Hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching.